Good afternoon. Welcome to uh, US uh, market update. Stocks um, rallying um, at the moment uh, at the open in the US. A uh, bit of firming up uh, being seen uh, across uh, European markets too. The FTSE is up 1.2%, the DAX up similarly. So some good movements uh, in the market, obviously, after that route on uh, on Tuesday. Um, some big movers today. Uh, Facebook or Meta, as it's called now, formerly Facebook. Um, find it. Meta is up uh, handsomely at the open uh, for Facebook after it uh, delivered. Well, daily active users were better than expected, profits were better than expected, and uh, we also uh, had some good news. I think really on the on their um, their position with with TikTok, their competition with TikTok, it seems that people are getting a bit more bullish on the fact that Facebook can uh, can take on TikTok uh, with Reels. And the other thing is, of course, uh, the metaverse spend was $3 billion, which is less than expected. So that was uh, all positive for Facebook, a lot of short covering. I think people had expected really bad results, uh, a lot of shorts on, the, on that stock. And uh, you've seen a lot of short covering off the back of those. Tesla down again. I tweeted this chart, I think, yesterday. Um, not a great setup. And down, down again. Uh, down uh, $842, uh, 841 $840. So a uh, real tough time for Tesla at the moment. Um, uh, as Elon Musk has I said on Twitter, uh, Twitter reports later today, as does Apple and Amazon. So keep your eyes open for those ones. In currencies now, we've had more weakness for the euro, fresh five-year low, more weakness for sterling as well. In fact, we're at the lows of the day now. And that is despite the US GDP numbers coming in uh, at negative 1.4%. So the US economy contracted in the first quarter. Uh, that is a surprise. Inflation is running at 8%. So we genuinely have stagflation uh, at the moment with uh, negative GDP uh, and very high inflation. As we've been saying for some time, it's a stagflation. Stagflation type environment. And that's what we're in at the moment. Um, Gold not really catching any bids, dollars higher. Uh, Nat gas um, is a bit weaker today, having jumped yesterday. And oil trades are around about 102, 101 there for uh, WTI. It's just starting to just drift a bit after some uh, some recent moves. Uh, you're seeing these sort of moves are bigger. The moves are getting smaller each time. So they're compressing. Just have a look at the Bollinger Bands. Um, there we go compressing there uh, ready to break higher i would think ready or break higher or lower but uh, a breakout you're just seeing this compression of the bollinger bands there uh, and the macd's turn flat so lots going on out there as always um keep your eyes open Lot, lots of stocks are um are moving today um tesla arc uh, that was the other story i wanted to talk to you about uh, arc innovation etf down heavily again down about four or five percent. That's partly because of Tesla, but partly because of a company called Teladoc, not one that we really cover um, as such. It's not one that I have any insight on, so I'm not going to give you any insight on Teladoc. But what I will give you insight on is that these are high. It's a classic Kathy Woodstock, high growth, loss making, great in the good times, great when the Fed's printing money and rates are zero, and real rates are ne deeply negative. <laughs> terrible when the, when uh, rates are rising rapidly and inflation is cutting through everything classic kathy woodstock high growth speculative and completely toasted so not good news uh, there for that company or for the arc innovation etf that's it for me for now